Hey there, folks. Did you know that the average person produces over 1,600 pounds of waste each year? That's like the weight of a whole cow, man. Imagine if we could cut that number in half. We'd be making a huge difference for the planet. Welcome to Don't Do This Guide, where we're going to hook you up with the top 10 sustainable living hacks. These tips are going to seriously level up your life and help out our planet at the same time. Before we jump in, make sure to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find any of these tips helpful. It really helps us out and lets us keep making awesome content for you guys. All right, let's do this. First up, we got to talk about the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. You've probably heard it a million times, but it's seriously important. Reducing our waste is like the ultimate goal here. Think about it. Do you really need that brand new phone case or that extra pair of shoes? Probably not. Before you buy something new, ask yourself if you really need it or if you can make do with what you already have. Okay, so you've reduced your waste, now it's time to reuse. Get creative, people. That old t-shirt with a hole in it, turn it into a reusable shopping bag. Glass jars, perfect for storing leftovers or DIY crafts. There are endless possibilities. Let's get those creative juices flowing. And of course, we can't forget about recycling. This one's a no-brainer, but so many people still mess it up. Make sure you're sorting your trash properly and recycling everything you can. Plastic, paper, cardboard, glass, recycle it all. It's like a superpower, but instead of saving the world from villains, you're saving it from trash. Next up, let's talk about minimalism. Now, I'm not saying you've got to go full on Marie Kondo and get rid of everything you own, but seriously, having less stuff can actually make you happier and less stressed. Think about it. Less stuff means less cleaning, less organizing and less clutter. Plus, it's way better for the environment because you're not constantly buying new things. Minimalism is all about simplifying your life and focusing on what truly matters. It's about experiences, relationships and personal growth, not material possessions. So, take a good, hard look at your belongings and ask yourself what you really need and what brings you joy. Get rid of the rest. Donate it, sell it or recycle it. Just get it out of your house. You might be surprised at how much lighter and freer you feel once you start decluttering and embracing a more minimalist lifestyle. Plus, your wallet will thank you too. It's a win-win situation. All right, guys, let's get real for a second. Those chemical-filled cleaning products you buy at the store, they're not only bad for your health, but they're also terrible for the environment. Plus, they cost a fortune. But don't worry, I got you covered. Making your own cleaning products is actually super easy and affordable. You can find most of the ingredients right in your pantry white vinegar, baking soda, lemon juice, they're like cleaning superheroes. Seriously, these natural ingredients can tackle almost any mess. Plus, they smell amazing and won't leave your house smelling like a chemical factory. I'm talking DIY all-purpose cleaners, bathroom scrubs, glass cleaners, you name it. There are tons of easy recipes online, and you can customize them to your liking. Trust me. Once you start making your own cleaning products, you'll never go back to those store-bought ones again. Chapter 4. Eat more plants, save the planet. Listen up, meat lovers. I'm not saying you've got to go full-on vegan or anything, but incorporating more plant-based meals into your diet can make a huge difference for the environment. The meat industry is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and water pollution. Cutting back on meat, even just one or two days a week, can significantly reduce your environmental impact. Plus, it's super healthy for you. Plant-based foods are packed with nutrients, fiber, and antioxidants. They can help you lose weight, lower your cholesterol, and reduce your risk of chronic diseases. And don't worry, eating plant-based doesn't mean you have to survive on lettuce and tofu. There are tons of delicious and satisfying plant-based recipes out there. From veggie burgers to lentil soups to chickpea pasta dishes, the possibilities are endless. Chapter 5. Shop local, shop smart, shop sustainable. All right, let's talk about shopping habits. We all know that fast fashion and mass-produced goods are taking a toll on our planet. But the good news is, we have the power to change that. By supporting local businesses and choosing sustainable products, we can make a big difference. Shopping locally is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint and support your community. Plus, you'll often find unique and high-quality items that you won't find anywhere else. Look for local farmers markets, craft fairs, and independent boutiques. 
When it comes to choosing sustainable products, there are a few things to keep in mind. Look for items made from recycled materials, organic cotton, bamboo, or other sustainable fabrics. Avoid products with excessive packaging and choose brands that prioritize ethical and sustainable practices. Chapter 6. Don't waste water, it's liquid gold. Water is precious, people. We need it to survive, and yet we often take it for granted. Conserving water is one of the easiest and most effective ways to reduce your environmental impact. Plus, it can save you money on your water bill. There are tons of simple ways to conserve water in your daily life. Take shorter showers, turn off the faucet while brushing your teeth, and fix any leaks promptly. When washing dishes or clothes, only run full loads. And consider investing in water-efficient appliances, like low-flow showerheads and toilets. You can even collect rainwater to water your plants or garden. Every little bit counts. Let's treat water like the valuable resource it is and do our part to conserve it for future generations. All right, let's talk about energy consumption. Our homes are packed with appliances that use a ton of energy, but the good news is there are more energy efficient options available than ever before. Upgrading to energy efficient appliances might seem like a big investment up front, but trust me, it's worth it in the long run. Energy-efficient appliances use significantly less energy, which means lower energy bills for you. Plus, you'll be reducing your carbon footprint and helping to combat climate change. Look for appliances with the Energy Star label, which indicates that they meet strict energy efficiency guidelines. From refrigerators and washing machines to dishwashers and air conditioners, there are Energy Star certified options for almost every appliance in your home. Chapter 8. Renewable Energy. Power up your life with the sun and wind. Fossil fuels are so last century. It's time to embrace the power of renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. Renewable energy is clean, sustainable, and becoming increasingly affordable. Installing solar panels on your roof might seem like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's becoming more and more common. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity, which means you can power your home using clean, renewable energy. Wind power is another great option, especially if you live in an area with strong winds. Wind turbines harness the kinetic energy of the wind and convert it into electricity. Imagine powering your home with the wind. Chapter 9. Sustainable Transportation. Ditch the car, explore new horizons. Our cars are major contributors to air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. But the good news is, there are plenty of sustainable transportation options available that are better for the environment and your health. Public transportation is a great alternative to driving alone in your car. Buses, trains and subways are all more fuel efficient per passenger than individual cars. Plus, you can sit back, relax and let someone else do the driving. Biking is another fantastic option especially for shorter trips. It's a great workout, it's good for the environment, and it's a fun way to explore your city or town. And of course, there's always the option of walking. Walking is free, it's good exercise, and it's a great way to clear your head and enjoy the outdoors. Chapter 10. Grow your own food. From garden to table, sustainability at its finest. Last but not least, let's talk about growing your own food. There's something incredibly satisfying and empowering about growing your own fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Plus, it's a great way to reduce your environmental impact and eat healthier. You don't need a huge backyard to start a garden. Even a small balcony or windowsill can provide enough space for a few potted plants. Tomatoes, peppers, herbs, and lettuce are all relatively easy to grow in containers. Growing your own food means you know exactly where your food is coming from and how it was grown you can avoid harmful pesticides and herbicides and enjoy the freshest, most flavorful produce imaginable. And there you have it, our top 10 sustainable living hacks. By making these small changes, you can contribute to a healthier planet and a more sustainable future. If you found any of these tips helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Don't Do This Guide for more awesome content. Let's make sustainability a way of life. Thanks for watching and see you next time.